Welcome everyone, I have here another review for you. This is um, uh, the beginning of a series that I'm going to do uh, for TBS. Um, TBS stands for Trinitarian Bible Society, as you can see right here. Now these Bibles are KJV, they're King James, and they have an amazing variety and, and a wide range of uh, uh, options to choose from. So let's start with this one. This is the Westminster Reference Bible. As you can read right here, it is the authorized King James Version. Now this Bible is mind-blowing. Look at this. It's got more than 200,000 references. I don't know if there's any other Bible out there that can actually beat that. Anyway, comes with concordance and maps, various uh, other Bible study helps, and it is bound in Meriva calfskin leather. This Bible, okay, is uh, 8.5 inches tall by 6 inches wide, which is I think is a very sweet uh, size, and it is only 1.3 inches thick, which makes this Bible very, very uh, portable in my view. And uh, as you can see, you can read this up here. I just stop that there for a second so you can if you want stop the video and, and read have a, have a and have a quick look now this is the ISBN number and it comes in this box which is a clamshell box right so let's take a look at this uh, amazing edition as you can see the spine comes with Holy Bible in gold Westminster reference Bible and TBS logo right here on the bottom very simple spine I love it very classy it comes with one two three four and five a slightly raised hoops as you can see they're a bit raised up above the actual spine very neat and they're tooled as well now, this, this leather is amazing, this calfskin leather, Meriva calfskin, as you can see, very fine grain, very fine grain, the, the, the feeling to, of it is very soft, smooth, but it is not uh, edge lined, it is a paste down Bible, as you can see right here, this is cardstock, and it's got these uh, vinyl um, um, end sheets, and uh, as you can see right here, inner liner. Uh, the uh, corner work is very nicely done. All four corners are well executed. And it uh, comes with this gold gilding. I think it's very nice. Look at that. So in the first few pages we got a few scriptures, Psalm 119, 18, Open thou mine eyes, that I may behold wondrous things out of thy law. Uh, here's another one, Psalm 19, 7 to 11, and 2 Timothy 3, 16 and 17. I think they're very neat. Now, this is cardstock and the, the back of them are blank, so you can use all of them for no taken, no problem whatsoever. So, so we got the presentation page, All right, right here. And we have here the table of contents. I'm gonna show right here the different uh, possibilities that you have on this uh, same edition. And this is really neat. It is printed and bound by John Blood. So, although this is a very affordable edition in comparison with other uh, publishers out there for premium Bibles, you have the same quality as they have because this is printed and bound by John Blood, which is the uh, publisher, sorry, which is the printer and binder, bindery that uh, also uh, do things like uh, R.L. Allen or Schuyler even Cambridge at this point so 
I think that's really neat. The paper is amazing. The quality, the opacity. Uh, I must say, I'm impressed. Now, check out, take a look at this content right there. Okay. And here we go. This is the letter for from the translators of the KJV to um, King James. Here we have a uh, translator to the reader, very neat. I don't know if you've ever read this, but uh, if you haven't, it's, it's a good piece of uh, information right there from the translators themselves. Then we have here some helps as well on, on, on for the usage of this uh, edition. It explains how to use the Tao and the Yi, all, all these archaic uh, uh, words from the English, and uh, this is a New Testament. So you can see this layout is very, very nice. It has two columns in the middle, and you've got all the references and notations and uh, extra helps on the wide margins on the outside, inner gutter and outer margin right there. It comes with an introduction right here, uh, for each uh, chapter of the Bible, as you can see, it's in every chapter. It's not by book; it's by chapter, which I think is neat. And also, it comes, it gives you also extra uh, explanation or definition to modern English of words that may be a bit uh, archaic. For example, in this case, we got compassive. So there's an, uh, a symbol right there that tells us that this means surrounds right in modern English so you got the King James text but at the same time you got uh, for some of the K words the modern equivalents uh, for the English modern for the modern English reader the letter the, the typeface right here is is very nice I have to say it's one of the best uh, uh, typefaces that I've seen, so crisp, so clear, well spaced, easy in the eye, I could be reading this for, for, for ages. Uh, the ghosting is not that bad, you can see a little bit of show through, but uh, it's not that bad, I mean this paper is thin, but the opacity is unbelievable. I'm sure you could be reading this very well, even on camera, I mean... Is a delight to, to be able to, to read this Bible. Is it, it is a black letter, so we go to the New Testament. You're gonna see in the Gospels that there isn't any, there's no red letter in the New Testament. As you can see right here, it's all black letter. For some, that is a preference. Uh, so, this is the case. I really like this this type size and have I have to say I'm I'm overwhelmed I'm mind blown I mean this 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 type of you can check this out the way that it reads is amazing right there and then we have let's go to the very end we got a set of appendix and uh, extra helps for study. So we go here, tables of weight and measures. We got, uh, let me see, what else? Uh, also money usage uh, translated. And then we have, this is something really interesting, a list of words and proper names with their pronunciations. All right, so he's saying you how to pronounce certain things in the scripture which I think is very neat rather than having all these self pronunciation words within the text the text is left out alone and you have all these helps here in the back in the case that you need them I rather have this if you ask me uh, then we got uh, a daily plan reading plan for the year it's actually two year plan so we got the first part here for the first year and the second part here for the second year. So it also encourages you to read through the scripture. And then we got this concordance in a two-column setting. Very readable. This font 
uh, must be at least 7.5 or 8 so it is very readable this concordance is quite extensive so you will have a good help right here within the same Bible Bible itself and we got at the end of the concordance a bunch of blank pages as you can see right here right it's quite a few in the same paper that the Bible is, uh, is printed on uh, you won't have a problem to write in this paper if you're using um, for example this type of uh, pens okay micro pens uh, this is a 0 5 which is very th quite thick for underlining but you can use it you can use um, this one instead for writing which is a 0 1 then it's uh, quite thin it is acid free archival ink I'm able to write here and your notes won't bleed through. You will see a little of ghosting, but the ink will stay there and will not go anywhere. Now, let's have a look at the maps. These maps right here are also printed like a, in a very thick cardstock. Okay, but it's full color. And uh, I, I really like this, this type of modern font. As well some people like the old style I do too but this is something different you can see that the, the, the font is being used here is type of more is a modern type and uh, I really like that too take a look at that 12 tribes the 12 tribes of Israel just want to take a good look this map so you can appreciate what you're getting sorry I'm missing one here that's uh, map five map six and this is map eight and at the end you have also a couple of extra pages for notes if you wanted to write down some extra notes and uh, I must say look at this this is so flexible I have to say this is not a this is not an edge lined uh, edition it is a paste down but it is well put together it has a reinforcement right there and, and say that's gonna guarantee you uh, a good usage of this Bible and this is quite flexible you can bend it you can see that uh, whatever material you use to put this together uh, is not rigid so it also gives you some flexibility to it and I want to tell you this is a great quality calf skin it's not cheap and uh, what you're getting is an excellent KJV reference Bible for serious reading and studying even preaching out of the word it is in a verse by verse uh, uh, format which is perfect for for preaching and studying in my own view that should be the standard for all bio so i hope this was a helpful video for you and uh, if you would like to um, buy this bible i'm gonna put a direct link to where you can actually find this edition and check the description box and uh, you will find a direct link to this bible and tbs as well and that's all for today please like our videos and uh, don't forget to subscribe and uh, we'll see you again in another review or rebind. Until then, Shalom.